This is a board swap for a Galaxy S3. Customer brought the phone in and just needed to um, have his board taken out and placed into the replacement unit that came from the insurance company. So we're going to remove the SD card and SIM if you have not done that already. And from that point, you have uh, several screws that go around the perimeter of the phone. All of these can come out. And those two bottom ones are a little tricky. You might have to pry underneath them while you're removing them. And once you get these out, there's a sweet spot you can pry under just around where the volume buttons are located. So you see I start out here at the bottom. That doesn't work out too well. But if you go along the side here, and this is a very thin uh, piece that goes along the side, it's pretty easy to get under. And from there, you can work your way around the bottom and unhinge it from the clips. And when you do that, you'll see that there's another panel at the very top that is going to come off next. So that's pretty easy to remove. And right around where the camera is located, you'll want to get inside there and go ahead and take that panel out also. And you'll see that there's actually a cable attached to it there that I have removed uh, or disconnected before I remove that rear housing piece. Okay, so once you have that off, basically you just have a series of flex cables that need to be disconnected. One screw at the very bottom in the center and then your antenna wire. So here we have the main flex for the LCD. And then we've got a couple more at the top and antenna wire and that's pretty much it. Once you get past these and remove that, remember there's a black screw at the bottom and take that out and this is real easy to take apart for a board swap so go right down there at the bottom remove this screw and once you do that you just want to make sure you're not going to snag any of the cables while you're pulling it out and the rest is really, uh, really easy, relatively speaking, compared to any other phone. Go ahead and pull that all out in one piece. We're going to set that aside and bring in the replacement board, uh, excuse me, the customer's old board, and put it into the replacement unit. And this particular person got very lucky because uh, currently the replacement cost on an LCD assembly for a Galaxy S3 cost is going to be about 225 if you add labor to that, most people can plan on spending about 300 bucks to replace it. Somehow this guy got lucky enough to have it uh, replaced from the place where he purchased it from him. I'm not sure if he had some sort of insurance policy or what happened, but they sent him the replacement unit. And instead of transferring his data, we just went ahead and put his old PCB board into the replacement unit. And that's it. We'll send everything back to the manufacturer. No need to transfer any data or worry about him logging into Gmail, synchronizing his contacts, etc., because all the memory will be intact on the motherboard, and anything that was on his micro SD, of course, will transfer right across when we put that in, and that's pretty much it. The only thing you want to make sure, uh, you can see I'm plugging the antenna wire in here. These are always fun. You want to make sure you route that through the little gap that it has um, right along the side of the board, so you don't make sure that you do not pinch those when you put the rear housing back on and just be really gentle with these they can be damaged very easily if you force them on so you want to make sure everything lines up before you plug that in and from here we just reverse the process uh, as far as the order goes for reassembling it just make sure that you clip everything in down at the bottom the, you want to make sure that the case mounts flush and you do have to put it, push it on a little bit and it does clip into place. But other than that, when you're putting this phone together, you'll notice that everything just kind of sits right where it came from. And there's not really a whole lot holding it together until you put the screws back in. So don't uh, be too concerned about that. That is normal with this particular phone. Again, the only real clips that are noticeable are going to be the two at the bottom. And other than that, the screws will hold it together. And that's pretty much it. We'll just go ahead and put a few screws in here. Pop in the battery, make sure it lights up. And I always recommend doing that before you put all everything back together. If for some reason we have a problem and it doesn't turn on correctly, we don't want to have to re, uh, remove all the screws again. So I put a couple in the bottom here, one at the top, put in the battery, 
fire it up, make sure you can make a phone call, touchscreen is working, etc., and then go ahead and complete your reassembly. By the way, all these screws are the same size, so you will not have to worry about them getting mixed up. And there I tried to put the battery in backwards, so it'll probably help if we put it in the right way. Go ahead and hit the power button. And when you see your splash screen, you should be good to go.